Hey everyone, what's up? Mirai here and welcome to another Iceboxer video. In this one, I will be giving an overview of the non-simplified follow and assist system. So prior to this, I've given some, uh, I've done some videos on the simplified version, but it's sort of limited. It's, it's not really available in every single game out there and it is limited to uh, six or seven characters in a party. So if for some reason you have more than that, um, you won't really be able to use the simplified version and you'll have to turn to the non-simplified version. Now this is just an overview. There's, um, it's, it's, it's non-simplified because it's, it just takes a, a little bit more to set up. Um, not that it's complicated or anything, but uh, it does take a little bit more to set up. But I am going to be demonstrating this in World of Warcraft. It's not specifically for World of Warcraft as uh, while WoW players know, um, IS Boxer has its own built-in add-on, its own uh, follow and assist macros that it uses for World of Warcraft. So while I will be demonstrating it in this game, it is just for demonstration purposes only. Um, with that said, let's start off with just what you'll see in the wizard. Now I'm gonna set this, I'm gonna choose Final Fantasy XIV here because I know the only important part of this is the final step of the wizard. And not all games in this list offer the same options on the final step of the wizard, but Final Fantasy XIV I know already does. So I'm choosing that to start off with. And we'll just create a generic character set here. I'm not actually going to use this one. Whoops. Let me just create 10 characters because I am going to be showing off 10 characters. So I've got my 10 characters down here in my character set. Hit next. Um, doesn't matter what I name this. Next, next. Now this is the, fi the final step of the wizard. And on the game key bindings tab, you're gonna have this option. You're gonna have this button right here, and you're gonna have this option down here. What we're worried about is we're gonna use the per character targeting macros uh, instead. And depending on the game you chose on the first step of the wizard, you may or may not have this simplified checkbox here, right? So this checkbox right here, it will start off selected if it's, if it's available. What you wanna do is unselect this. And what you'll see is a bunch of numpad, number pad uh, numbers in here. So num1, num2, et cetera. You click this, it's gonna bring up this big long list of key bindings. And uh, that means you're in the non-simplified setup, which is where we want to be. Now, it's not really important. There's really nothing to talk about uh, what these are, they're, they're used, these particular, this list right here is used for assist and this particular list right here is used for follow. We are using the number pad keys, right? So not the, not the, not the number row above your letters, the number pad off to the right of your keyboard. So we are using those keys instead for this. Um, but once you're done with all your setup, you set up everything else in the wizard, you want to choose this option down here. And if you have a simplified checkbox, you want to uncheck that. Again, you may not even see the simplified option. If you don't, then it will automatically default to these number pad uh, key bindings. So with that said, close out of that. If I would have hit finish, well, when you hit finish and you complete the wizard, you'll have um, new assist slot and follow slot um, variable keystrokes here. Now on the final step of the wizard there, it actually sets up, it actually shows the first 20 actually shows the first 20 key bindings it will use, but I only created a character set with 10 characters in it. So the wizard only creates 10 assist slot and 10 follow slot. We're not worried about the target slot that, that has nothing to do with us at the moment. We're just worried about the assist slot and the follow slot. And um, if for some reason you get in game, you realize you can't use the number pad for some reason, uh, you can come back in here and just change these to something else that you can use. So this is where under the variable keystroke section up here, down here is where you're gonna find your assist slot and follow slot uh, key bindings for that. But what this breaks down to is, this is my actual character set. These are my 10 characters. This is my character set down here. And what happens is, I mean, this is the basis of IS Boxer. You press a key, a key gets sent, and that key needs to be bound to something in game, right? So let's say I'm playing from slot four. My character's name in slot four is Viction. So every other character in my party or my raid or whatever it is that I have set up needs to have an assist Viction 
and a follow viction macro. Two separate macros. The assist viction, she is slot four. So assist viction, in my case, is gonna be bound to control num four. And my follow viction macro is gonna be uh, bound to alt num four. Now I will point this out that if for some reason alt and control aren't working for you, I would really suggest not using shift because shift and the number pad keys do different things. Shift modifies what the number pad keys actually do. So shift num one isn't a real key. Shift num one is end. If you look at your number pad, take a glance at it right now, you'll see the end, the end uh, word written on your number one on the number pad. And that means shift number pad one is actually the end key. So please don't use shift, use alt or control or come up with your own set of keys that you can use that aren't going to interfere with anything else you're doing. But I've got my, oh, one more thing to point out here is that um, just to show that I'm not using any variable keystrokes, so none of my slots have any variable keystrokes set up, which means I don't rely, this system does not rely on the F keys for targeting. Uh, in addition to that, let me minimize this. In addition to that, I'm not using the IS Boxer add-on. So again, while this is World of Warcraft and you should normally, if you're setting this up for World of Warcraft, you should normally be using the add-on because it's much simpler than what I'm about to show. Um, however, for demonstration purposes, I really need to drill this home that for demonstration purposes, I'm not using the add-on, I'm not using F key targeting or anything like that. We are using follow and assist macros that we've created ourselves um, in the game. So I will log in here. And we're in a fancy formation. Look at that. Everybody was just waiting for me. Anyway, the next step after you're done in Ice Boxer, so it's pretty much just the final step of the wizard. And then when you need to double check your key bindings and you're like, what do I, what do I use for key bindings in game? Everything's laid out here. Remember under the variable keystroke section, Jesus, having some trouble clicking on things here. Under the variable keystroke section, this is where all of these specific key bindings are laid out, right? So in game, in this game here, I've created 10 follow and assist macros for all of my characters. So I've got all of this here and I've taken all of these and I've dragged them over here to my action bars. These are just action bars off to the side, out of the way uh, that I can actually hide in the future if I needed to. But each of these are you can see the little tool tip there. It's got uh, everything written out. And these are my follow and assist macros. And I've given every button on those action bars, I've given them a key binding under here. We'll come down. And there's the same control numpad one through zero and the same alt numpad one through zero. So in, in case you're seeing this and you think it's backwards, right action bar um, right action buttons are actually on the far right and right action bar two is actually to the left of it. It's a little confusing. It's, it's flip-flopped in World of Warcraft. So if you see this, the alt numpads are for the follow and the control numpads are for the assist keys over here. And that's it. I mean, this isn't a full setup because I didn't want to write out you know, 20 macros on every character, drag them to the bars. It's a very simple process. And if for some reason uh, this is a little confusing at this point, the simplified method actually shows the same thing of writing the macros, dragging them to the action bars and whatnot. But if I turn my key maps on here, my 10 characters, my other nine characters will follow. And if I change, if I change to anybody here, they're all going to follow. Again, I mean, people have been watching these for a while. You understand that every time you create uh, a new character set or anything, it's, whether you're a veteran, whether you're a beginner player, you should really always check that every character is going to follow the other set of characters so that you know all your macros are correct and all the key bindings are correct. And this isn't all that exciting, but it's kind of, uh, kind of neat to see. And of course you notice on the right hand side, again, on the right hand side of every window, you can look even at the small windows, you see all the macros that have been uh, written and then they've been dragged out to the action bars, the two action bars along the right hand side. 
and um, it all works. And I'm not going to show assist working on every single character, but um, let's see here. So you can get a good look at this. Here's the target frame, right? And it's to the right of my character frame. Here's the character frame in the other windows. There's nothing, they're not targeting anything at the moment, but when I press my assist key, they all pick up the target, all of them. And that's true from any window. I've already tested it. You'll just have to take, take my word for it. All 10 characters will assist each other properly. And that's, and that's pretty much it. Uh, to just give maybe just one more example, if this is still slightly confusing, let me just go over this, uh, this eviction example again. So let's say I'm playing from slot four. So let me move back in here. This is slot one, two, three, four. This character's name is Viction. And if we come back in here, um, assist slot four is going to be control number four, and follow slot four is going to be alt number four. So it's number four on the number pad. It's control for assist, alt for follow. Control for assist, alt for follow. Now, I pressed that and everyone will follow, as I just showed. But if we come back to, say, this character, and we look um, macros, we can see, if I can find it, it's in alphabetical order, here's assist eviction, and I've dragged that out over to here, if I can find it here. So one, two, three, fourth, assist, fourth action bar button down. Action bar, hot bar, quick bar, whatever you guys call them in the games that you play. The fourth button down is assist eviction on this one, and the fourth button down is follow eviction. So then, just to double check this, if we look at right action bar, right action bar button four is control numpad four. So this is control numpad four. And if I can scroll down here, right action bar two button four is alt numpad four. So it's alt numpad four down here. Control numpad four, alt numpad four. It really just comes down to the key bindings being chosen in Ice Boxer, and then you coming into the game, writing the assist and the follow macros, and then binding them to the proper key bindings. And that's, that's it. I mean, this is just an overview. It would have been a lot longer had I had, I had to have written out all of these uh, macros and whatnot, but that's up for you guys. That, that, that's up to you guys to write out all that other stuff. So that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. and. Um, for any further questions, comments, or concerns, please visit the Eyesboxer forum or the live chat. See you guys.